So one of the most common things I'm asked is, how do I teach my dog where to pee? How do I house train this dog? So house training is uh, pretty simple in explanation, kind of difficult in execution. So really you want right place, right time. All right, if the dog has to go, you wanna make sure that he's in what you've selected to be his appropriate toileting area. So if it's a wee wee pad or a spot in your yard or uh, out in front of your apartment building, you need to make sure that that's where you're at when he's gotta go. So how do you do this? A lot of times, I'll actually have a physical chart of food and water intake. Kind of chart, make a mental note or a physical note of when the dog has had food and water. And then you make a mental or physical note of when it comes out. So even if he's making mistakes, you're writing down that the dog has gone to the bathroom at this point in the day so that you can kind of predict it down the road a little bit. You can also predict it because dogs tend to have to go to the bathroom after they've had excessive play, after they've napped, after a good chew session. All right, they have a tendency to really need to do, the, uh, do their business. The easiest thing is to set them up with a long-term and short-term confinement space such as uh, a pen and a crate and let them spend a lot of time in there and then take them every hour they get to go outside or to the appropriate toileting area to pee or poop and when they do they get to have some free time in the house to run around and play supervised by you. Having free time in the house unsupervised is the biggest mistake people make. They give the dog way too much space, they give the dog way too much freedom and then they're surprised that the dog has uh, had an accident or that the dog has chewed something up. Even worse than that is you're not there to affect the outcome. If the dog pees on the floor, nobody says or does anything, it doesn't really matter. So if you see the dog getting ready to sniff, you can make some sort of a loud startling noise, clap your hands, something to try and stop him before he starts to go, and then make sure you're getting him to the appropriate area and reward vigorously when he goes in the right area. So peeing and pooping outside can equal little chicken treats or little hot dog treats or something that's really extra special for him. Subsequently, your best bet is to make sure that you're always supervising the dog when it's outside of its confinement area, maybe every hour getting him to the appropriate toileting area to do his business, rewarding him for doing it in the right place and avoiding mistakes. That's the secret to getting uh, a dog house trained in a hurry.